Houston, we have a problem. Remember I told you you could edit DSLR video in Camtasia with great results? And how you can do zooms and panning and stuff like that and it looks really cool and easy to do? Well, there's a little bit of a problem I discovered. Well, actually, some of the people that watch my channel discovered it. They discovered that they only got audio in one side, so on one channel. You know, my rolling credits and my music was fine, but the audio that I recorded through this lavalier mic only showed up on one channel. So, what do you do about it? Well, I contacted Camtasia, TechSmith actually, and they said there's no like quick switch that you can just click to have dual mono like you can in Final Cut Pro. So they suggested taking the audio track out, putting it in Audacity, flattening it and making it a dual mono, and then re-importing into Camtasia. That's a crazy workaround. There's got to be a better way. So I'm going to try a different microphone and see if I still get the same problem. I'm back. So the last clip I was using my Sony wireless WCS 999 wireless microphone. Okay, I love this mic actually. It's really easy to use and the audio quality is quite good. But now, sitting on top of the camera, is that shotgun mic I told you about. So I'm not sure if it records on one channel or two. I'm back. So, you probably noticed when I played back the video from each of the two microphones that the shotgun mic actually recorded on both channels. Well, that's good news. Sort of. I just find that I still like the sound quality of the lapel microphone. I really like it. It only records the person's voice who's close to it, whereas the shotgun mic Still, I find if I'm shooting in the house, it records like the refrigerator and the furnace fan and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more um, omnidirectional, picks up extra ambient sound. It might just take me a while to get used to that. Um, you know, I shoot in many different spots and um, I'm shooting other people. And maybe over time, I'll kind of get used to how the shotgun mic sounds. On a good note, um, I won't be getting clothing static, but on a not so good note, I'm gonna have to make sure that that shotgun mic is fairly close to my subject. Right now, I'm probably three or four feet away from the microphone, so I'm very close. Typically, I shoot a little bit farther away, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you for participating in my experiment, and hopefully I'll be giving you much better audio quality moving forward. Take care. See you next time.